So when we talk about what's changed in modern application architecture, there's this bigger shift from sort of monolithic applications where a single application has many subcomponents and sort of capabilities delivered as one application to many discrete services that are being deployed independently. This is sort of a microservice or service-oriented architecture where we have many, many more services that are communicating with each other and sort of composing to form a larger bit of functionality. So as we make this change, what suddenly changes about our requirements is A, we have a lot higher scale. There's many more sort of instances that we need to be routing to, right? And these things are much more ephemeral. So there's a lot more elasticity in terms of scaling up and down, but also dynamicism in terms of these things being relatively short-lived compared to the monolithic versions of them. So in the monolithic world, what we used to do is traditionally use hardware load balancers, uh, and these would be manually managed. So if we deploy new versions of our monolith, we would then file a ticket, and someone would update the load balancer to add a new instance, and then it's able to get traffic after days or weeks. And this was OK because the churn was relatively low. And even when we upgraded our application, we were upgrading it on the same machine. So it was already part of our load balancer and didn't require change. Now as we sort of embrace microservices architectures and sort of cloud-based platforms, both of those assumptions sort of change. Now there's much more change right, in terms of scaling up, scaling down, deploying applications. But there's also a churn of the underlying VM. right? We're much less likely to reuse a machine and deploy the new application on the same hardware. Rather, we'll destroy that machine and boot a new machine running the new version of our application. And so now all of a sudden, all of these changes require us touching our load balancers constantly. So a more modern approach is to use a service registry, a tool like console. So now as new instances boot, they get automatically registered inside of this catalog, the re central registry that knows what are all the services, where are they running, what's their current status. And then we drive our load balancing against this registry. So applications can either natively query the registry using something like DNS and discover and connect to their upstreams without going through a load balancer. Or we use the registry to automatically populate and drive the configuration of load balancers. So as soon as a new instance boots, it gets put into the registry. Then that registry is basically repopulating and reconfiguring our load balancer to instantly send traffic to it. So this avoids the sort of manual management that we traditionally would have done and allows us to accelerate sort of how quickly we can get traffic to these applications and deal with the dynamic, elastic nature of infrastructure.